welcome to this week's edition of Word in Review, which is a presentation by Faith Dimensions Ministries based on the message preached on Sunday, 9th of January 2022. Uh, the message was preached by Bishop Glenn Ferguson. The title was He Sees You, and the main scripture was Mark chapter 6, verse, verses 46 to 49. Um, the story in the book of Mark is basically that of Jesus feeding 5,000 men and um, after that sending his disciples to go ahead of him and then he retiring to the mountain to pray. As you know, the theme for the summary of the theme for this year is really going deeper in God, going deeper in the Holy Ghost um, for us in FDM. And um, we do need to go deeper in God now. Because clearly, like Bishop Glenn said, there is death in the land and we need to pray. There are difficult, there are difficult times you're facing now that require prayer. If ever there was a time to pray, it is now. But apart from that, as he mentioned, the Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men, if you're a man, if you're a human being, if blood is flowing through your body, you ought to pray. You don't just pray because you have challenges or because things are hard or because you're looking to God to give you something or to bless you with something. You pray even more so after victories. If you look at the story in that, that we are referring to in the book of Mark, it was after Jesus fed 5,000 men that he went to the mountain. It, it was a time that others would have gone around celebrating and telling people how powerful they are and all that. He knew that that what had happened requires moving to a higher level to maintain and sustain the anointing. And that's what he did. Prayer is like a dynamo. You have to stir, it, 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 it stirs power. When you pray, you produce power. When you pray, you produce that which you cannot produce ordinarily. And power is a, is a necessary requirement today to, 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 to live, to survive, to flourish, to thrive and to fulfill God's purpose. A powerless Christian is of no use to the, to himself or to the body of Christ. And the Bible says that after a while when Jesus had done this, the disciples were on the high sea and then there was trouble. There was waves, there was storm, the disciples were struggling and all that. And Jesus could see them from afar. He could see them from afar. You know, I said the, 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 the message, the title is, He sees you. I don't, I don't care what storm is in your boat. I don't care what challenges you're facing. Jesus sees you from afar. That's a summary of what Bishop preached. Jesus sees you from afar and is ready to step into your boat. If you call on him in prayer, he will step into your boat. He will step into your boat. He will bring calm. He will bring peace. He will bring safety and security. This is my encouragement to you from the message preached on Sunday. May God bless you. May God keep you. Please, when you have time, go to FDM website and click on the full message. Listen to it and listen again and again. It will not only bless you from now, it will, it produce, it will give you power to go forward. Praise God.